There were two Air Force bomber, two Air Forces under the Far East Air Forces in MacArthur's theater. The Fifth Air Force, which was his pet, they automatically sent their bomb crews home after they had performed 25 missions. They didn't have to be classified as war weary or anything. They just automatically sent them home. And they were getting replacement out of NADZAB, replacement center, in the middle of New Guinea. And we in the 13th Bomber Command were, getting, were not getting our rightful share of the replacement crews from NADZAB. Now, I used to go down and fight with those people, argue with them. And I said, well, that, that's Matheny's fault. He could send them home with 25 missions. And the TV thought that was a stupid thing to do in wartime. Our crews were generally capable of doing between 40 and 45 missions with one 10-day rest period in Australia. And that was my, the primary purpose of my, the Loken Airlines, they came to be called. I had nine aircraft. And Matheny uh, uh, had uh, developed a formula for uh, assessing, determining who was ready to go home. Well, those were really some interesting days. One of the times I went to Hollandia and then on down to Nadjab. Well, no, the Far East Air Force headquarters, which was over both of our air forces, uh, was stationed in Hollandia. And I went down there on another Oh boy, I wanted to do some desk pounding. I felt really infuriated that we weren't getting our share of the of the uh, replacement crews. We even had one young pilot lieutenant who'd been promoted to first lieutenant. There came a day he'd only had 38, something like that, 38 missions. He refused to go on anymore. He'd just gotten a letter from home, he had a son. He didn't even, uh, he'd never seen, he didn't know whether he'd ever see him. And uh, he just refused to go on any more missions. He knew what was happening in the, in the uh, Fifth Air Force. They were going home with 35, 25 missions. And he had 38 or 39 in already. General Matheny had him court-martialed. A travesty, I thought.